welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do the uh, tag, the busted out for fall tag that Drea CN created. And I just thought this would be a really fun tag to do. As you can see, I'm all decked out in my fall look, and I do this a lot. I love uh, dark greens and reds and oranges for the fall, and I just love this look. So I wanted to get, you know, all dressed up for my fall video here. And I've talked about Drea CN before in another video. I shouted her out. I just love her. She's so sweet, so informative. I just love her videos, guys. Subscribe to her. Check her out. She has like five, a little bit over 5,000. I just love her. She always responds to me. She's just super sweet. So check her out. And I know a lot of other people have done this. Um, like Lisa Stevens is another one I love. Uh, Nikki Murphy's done it. Um, I haven't been shouted out by anybody. Um... I'm just an embryo of a channel. Not many people know I'm, I even exist that I'm here. But I wanted to do this because I thought it would be really fun to do. But the uh, three I was talking about, Drea created it, created it Lisa and uh, Nikki, they all three, I love their three videos. The, uh, of all the ones I've seen, theirs are my favorite um, that I've seen so far. Um, let's go ahead and get started because there's 12 questions. Uh, and I got my crap in front of me here. Um, the number one is, does the change of the seasons affect which makeup you use? The only thing it really affects is, of course, my uh, blush and lip colors change. I tend to wear darker ones during the uh, winter and fall. Um, the only thing it majorly changes is I tend to not wear as much foundation during the summer. Um, I wear BB creams or CC creams mainly. But I will, will wear uh, light to medium foundations like my Maybelline Fit Me and stuff like that during the summer. If I'm filming, I definitely have foundation or BB cream on. Nine times out of ten in my real life, if I'm just running errands, I just got a little concealer and powder on and then the rest of my makeup. Because I really, like I said in my previous video, I, um, I'm blessed with good skin. So I don't need a lot of coverage unless I got really bad, you know, dark circles and everything. But other than that, my foundation routine is really the only thing that changes. Number two, what is a technique that you never do in the summer but that you start doing in the fall? The only thing I can really think of is smoky eyes. I really don't do a lot of smoky eyes, period. But really the only time I do them is during the fall and the winter. I just... I. I like bright colors on me in colors like this more than I do dark, smoky eyes. I mean, they look fine on me, but I just tend to wear that more in the fall and winter. Number three, what color combinations do you pair together only in the fall? This right here that I have on, and, you know, let's be going over what I have on my face. You know, I always do that. Actually, what I have on my eyes today... On top of my Aunt That Sweet Elf Smudge Pot. Um, my highlight is my CoverGirl French Vanilla up top. And then the red, which is also my blush that I have on, but the red that's in my crease here, this is the Black Radiance um, Warm Berry Blush in number 8305. Love this. When I first saw it, I just got it for an eyeshadow. And I was like, oh, it's going to be too dark for me for a blush. But really light hand, it's fine. I mean, really light. I, I usually just use my e.l.f. Uh, small tapered brush and tap it a few times and then put it on and that's about it. That's all it takes for my pale skin. Gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. And I love this formula. I have another blush here from them I want to show you. Love the formula. My hand, I don't have my ace bandage on today because I wanted to be able to swatch on this hand. But isn't that pretty? And you can build it up and it lasts. It's a good formula. It has really, really no fallout whatsoever. I just love... Their blushes, they are so good. Black Radiance, y'all know their, uh, what was it, their uh, mascara was the first thing I got on a whim and decided to try because it was the only mascara at Family Dollar that I had enough money for at the time and I needed a mascara, like at the time I had none. And I fell in love with it and then I discovered that blush was the second thing I got and then I started buying the eyeshadows. Guys, you've got to try Black Radiance. It's made by the same company that makes Wet n Wild. Great products. Try them. Try them. Now, the green on my eye, I have a sample here. This is the MAC Teal Pigment. This is the green. It's kind of a darker color. Let's just set this down so I don't spill it all over God's creation. But this is what is on my lids. And of course, I use, I put it 
on top of this smudge pot so it would stay on, would fall. Of course, you do have fallout with pigments as well. A lot of people don't like using them, but I love them because the color payoff is just so good. It, especially with MAC pigments, but teal is one of my favorite MAC pigments in my top 10 at least. Uh, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, another combination that I do tend to do is oranges. I do a lot of oranges and then I also do a lot of burgundy colors like the one you saw me with the other day. Um, like I had on uh, Max Rose Pigment which is one of my top three. You saw this on my eyes with more of a bronzy color like this and bronze together. Looks amazing and also Max um, Accent Red is another one that I wear a lot during that's what it looks like a lot during the winter time. This is a deeper pink burgundy color. It's just so pretty. I wear it on the top and on my lower waterline. It has kind of a shift to it almost. A duochrome shift. Gorgeous, guys. I bust out my pigments more in the uh, fall and the winter because I have a lot of darker colors. So I tend to bust them out in the uh, fall and winter more. Okay. Number four, does your hair or skin change with the seasons and how does that affect your routine? My hair never really changes. My hair never gets oily. I, I'm lucky in that respect, um, but my hair is kind of dry, so I actually have to add oil to my uh, hair, which is um, why I got this to review from Rada Beauty, the Argan Oil. I, you can use it all over, but I prefer Argan Oil in my hair. It works great in my hair. 100% pure. I use this a lot during... Uh, any type of argon oil, you know, this is a new one for, to me during the uh, fall and winter time because my hair is more dry. But I also tend to use um, thicker moisturizers. My skincare does change up because, like I said, I'm normal to dry. And during the winter, if fall and winter, my skin is a little bit more dry. So I have to up the moisture level. Um, since I have added this year, I started early this year since I started reviewing adding retinol and vitamin C and hyaluronic acid and all that and that actually has changed my skin dramatically it's not getting dry at all so we'll see if that does the same thing during the fall and winter i hope it does but usually what i have to do is add oils to my moisturizers to up the amp and use thicker moisturizers and i also got the um rada beauty jojoba oil and i have mixed this in with my moisturizers and my skin when i wake up in the morning guys is so super soft softer than a baby's butt okay this stuff, jojoba oil, my skin loves it. And I put it in my uh, body lotion too. Love it. Another thing that I tend to do more of my skincare during the winter, fall and winter, I keep saying winter, fall and winter, is um, a sleeping mask. It's a moisturizer that you keep on overnight. And this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I had another one from Lather that I just loved. And that got that one and this one from uh, Ipsy. I'm almost out of this one, so i got to find a new one. Um, to use. This one's good, but I want to find, you know, maybe a drugstore one that's a little bit cheaper than this to use. But these are really great if you have uh, dry skin during the fall and winter. Number five, what color are you most excited to start wearing on your face? Like I said, dark green is the teal color. I'm excited to wear oranges um, and mainly cranberry and burgundy colors. I love cranberries. Those are some of my favorite colors to wear. Um, Let's see, what nail polish do you love to wear in the fall? This is one of my favorite combinations. I didn't put a top coat on because I was trying to get this, hurry up and get it done for the video. This is one of my favorite combinations. And unfortunately, I cannot tell you the name of this nail polish. It is not on the bottle anywhere, but it's by Broadway Beauty. Um, you get it at Rite Aid and you can get it online. But that is what it looks like. It's a really dark, pretty color. I don't know. It's probably chipped and everything. But do you see, it just goes so well with the Julie G uh, polish, um, what is this, Gift of the Go. Y'all know I love me some Julie G, it's my favorite nail, besides sinful colors, nail polish. Julie G is so good. And she's another YouTuber that is amazing, guys. These two together, go to, wear the heck out of them. I have a picture of, of my manicure last winter with that on, when I had longer nails. Okay, another uh, two that I love, I just got this one. But I, I've worn it already to see how much I liked it. But this is a great fall and winter color. It's Sinful Colors in Copper Pot. Is that not perfect for winter and fall, guys? And this one right here, my favorite nail polish ever. This is Sinful Colors Secret Admirer. And I don't even know. I think this was 
Moon Edition. I don't know if they still have this one. But look at that. It's not really black. It's kind of like a charcoal gray, and it's got a little shimmer to it. I'm going to have to do my nails in this and just show y'all how gorgeous this is on. Oh, my God. That is my favorite nail polish, and I get so many compliments when I wear it. I had some, one person tell me, I knew you were goth because I had that color on. You got black nail polish on. I'm not goth. And she just thought I was goth because I had black nail polish on and I'm pale and I have black hair. Really? I, I love goths, but it's just like, way to, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Discriminate, you know? <laughs> you know, just anyway. But that, love it, love it, love it, and I love it. That's my number one favorite nail polish. Okay, what's next? What's next? Number seven. What blush do you reserve only for the fall? Showed you the warm berry. This one, I don't really only use this on my cheeks in the fall. Another one is one of my MAC ones. I tend to, I can wear it year round, but I tend to only wear it during the fall. This is Max Mocha. It's an older one. I don't know if they still make this color. I love Max blushes. They're like their lipsticks, they're like my favorite blushes, high-end blushes. But that's mocha right there. It's just perfect for the fall and winter. And here's the other Black Radiance one that y'all know I got earlier this year and I freaking fell in love with. Oh my god, this, I'd have to say, this may be my favorite blush. Look at that. Just the pattern alone. It is in number 8313 Plum Sorbet. I've seen no fallout. I've worn this as an eyeshadow, but this is the perfect fall shade. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear that the heck out of that. I'm probably going to put a big old dent in that. Number eight, what is your favorite fall fragrance? I don't have it. I'm out. Um, but my favorite fall fragrance, and I'm too poor to go get it, is Calvin's, Calvin Klein's Euphoria. I remember that come out when I worked at Dillard's at the perfume counter, and the Calvin Klein rep loved me, and she gave me two bottles, and let me tell you, I went through it quick. Love it, and I sold the heck out of it, because it's just a deep, it has orchid in it, and I'll, I can't remember all the notes, but I know it has orchid in it, and it's kind of, it's got orchid, and it's kind of musky almost. It's just a deep, dark, musky fall and winter scent. It's so seductive smelling, y'all. It's sensual smelling to me. Love it. That is my favorite perfume ever. And I gotta get one because even if it's a little baby rollerball, I've got to get it because I miss having it. I love most Calvin Klein uh, perfumes. Another one is another Calvin Klein, and I tend to wear it more during the uh, winter time. I have it, but I, I think it's maybe under the cabinet for some reason. It's a little bit of baby one um, obsession. It's old school, but I love me some Calvin Klein obsession. I know it's old school, but oh my, I love it. You all see, I tend to like those more musky. I tend to like the more musky ones for the fall and winter, and the more candy one, candy scented ones for the summer, spring and summer. Okay, number nine. Is there a piece of clothing that's been unworn all summer that you can't wait to bust out of your closet? I have a couple, actually. My first is going to be uh, my boots, y'all. I've had these cowboy boots. I'm from Louisiana. I'm from Texas. I live in Louisiana now. I mean, these Texas guys gotta have some cowboy boots, but I've had these boots for almost 23 years. Yes, and they are still look at the shape that they are still in decent shape. I need to get the well, the soles are okay. They have the tassel on the side, a dark deep purple, and I just tend to wear flip flops all summer because it's so hot. And I wore boots during the winter, the fall and winter, and I gotta get me. I always buy myself a pair of black, almost biker style boots for the winter and fall. Cause I love wearing them. The one I had, the ones I had, um, tore up. So I gotta get me some new ones. But I wear this and black biker boots during the fall. Love these. I think they're gorgeous. You know, I just I've always loved <laughs> this pair of boots. I mean, 23 years and it's still in good shape. Another thing that I um, like to wear. I'm not big on hats, but I like berets. This is one I got from Amazon not long ago. I was like, I saw it. I was like, oh, I gotta have that for the fall. I like wearing these berets during the fall and winter. I just, I like how they look on I me. Mean, they're one hat that does look decent on me. I have such a big head, too. I do have, I had one of the biggest heads when they were measuring us for a cap and gown. I had one of the biggest ones in the class, even over the guys. I was like in the top 
five. <laughs> but it's see this one's sequins. It's real I mean it's just real soft on the inside. Real well made. Like I said, got it from Amazon is under ten dollars. I think it was like seventy dollars. So I can't wait to wear this. And this I got at the food bank. Me and my uh, neighbor go to the food bank and they have clothes and uh, shoes and stuff there, books, movies. And I found this. It just reminds me of the 70s, 60s and 70s, kind of hippie. And I just thought it was gorgeous. This the color, I mean, it goes with, you know, goes with my eyeliner pretty much. But just, it's just gorgeous. I just thought, and it's, you know, that velvet feel. I just thought it was gorgeous, so I cannot wait to wear, to wear that. And plus all my sweaters, all the big, chunky, turtleneck sweaters during uh, the fall and winter. I do not feel like driving, dragging all those out of my closet because I got a ton of them. Okay, number 10, what is the makeup item that really gets you in the fall spirit? Probably lip colors. Um, lip colors really tend, of all, I'm really big on lip products. So lip products are probably the number one thing that really get me in the cut lip colors that get me in the spirit. Um, this one here, like colors like this, 532 Russet River by Bark to Ease. This is a perfect this is one that definitely, when Janae sent this to me, I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to be so perfect. So perfect for the uh, fall and winter. I just love that. I thought that was something on my mouth. <laughs> they just get me in the mood, you know. And um, Maybelline's Touch of Spice is another one. You know, I love the plum mauve colors. Ones like this, this is what gets me in the mood is the darker colors, really. Okay, where am I at? Number 11, what makeup item are you going to put away until spring, summer 2017 that you're most sad about? I'm most sad about pink lipsticks, like I said, lip products, and I also have another one here. I'm most sad about my pink lipsticks, because I love bright pink lipsticks. I wear them all year long. You know me, I don't follow no damn rules. I'm crazy. This is uh, one of the LA Colors Color Bombs. It's a Barbie pink. And this one is in Smooch. Colors like that. And it's almost like kind of like Max Snob. And this is the LA Colors in Bright Pink. How oh, perfect. These are just, you know, more spring and summer colors. I mean, I'll wear them all year. I don't care. But, the, you know, I'll just have all these other darker colors that I, have, you know, I got and I need to wear. But these are, you know, I'll be putting in. And also, not necessarily this palette, but just the color selection. Y'all know I love me some neons and bright, bright colors. This is the LA Girls Neon Palette that I got earlier this year. And just the brighter colors like these right here and that blue over here, they're more for the spring and summer. But I will wear them all year long. I mean, like I just said, I don't give a damn. I'm going to wear them when I want to. But I tend to wear, like, more stuff like this. So, I am going to miss that. And the last question is, are there any other makeup beauty items that you're going to bust out for the fall that you haven't talked about yet? Let me get the tablet out of my way. Um, a couple of them are, when I saw these two wet and wild, I need to get, I'm trying to get comfortable, guys. My back is killing me. I'm old. <laughs> These two, when I saw them, um, they were marked down when they were, you know, getting rid of the Fergie stuff. These two palettes, this is the one in, got the sticker over it, Camouflage Couture, the green. That is just perfect for the fall. And so is this one. This is the one in Desert Festival. When I saw this one, I had to have it. It was the last one, and so was the green one. And I snatched it up, and my neighbor wanted them too. So I'm sorry, they're the last ones, and I'm really like them, you know, but oh my god, they're just gorgeous. That is fall, that is a fall palette, so I cannot wait to wear that. Um, another two are my two the bomb palette. You know, I just got this one and I love it. And the uh, new two palette got earlier this year, but it's a more darker, even though it's a kind of neutral. These color color payoff in this, these palettes are amazing. These are darker colors, so this is more for the fall and winter to me because they are darker colors and so is the other one even though you know I have been wearing it 
the meat matrimony. I don't know I love this product. Especially this color right here. Um, the Matt Kumar and then Matt Rossi up here. But these darker colors on this side, these five right here, perfect for the fall and winter. So I cannot wait to wear this a lot more. So I love these these two colors here and this one up here. Great. Perfect for the fall and winter. So I cannot wait to start wearing that. And I also have some other lip products here that I just adore. Oh my goodness, I'm about to knock stuff over here. Let me get this out of my way. Here are a couple of MAC ones that I bust out during the fall. And I just dropped one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry y'all have to see my gray hair. I need to cut up my hair yet again. This is Plum Dandy. I love this. is one of my favorite MACs. It's one of those darker ones that's better for the fall. This is probably about third or fourth tube of Plum Dandy. I just, oh my God, I love it. It is a frost. A lot of people don't like frost. It's not that frosty, though. It's not a dual chrome. Like I said, I've had it. That's probably my third or fourth tube right there. And this one is in Cyber. This is that dark, dark one. Got a few to show you like that. And this is great to mix with other ones, but it's a dark, dark purple. And this one is a satin. Love my lipsticks. They are my favorite. And the two other darker ones are the Ulta Matte Lip Cream and Elusive. Love their lip creams and lip, lip butters. Just gorgeous. And it goes perfectly <laughs> with Cyber. It's a little bit lighter than Cyber. And then the other one is the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter. And this is the one in, oh my gosh, this, it's so dark, guys, I can't read it. What is this in? Lavish. It's got a little sparkle to it. But look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The High Shine, it's so glossy. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, this is the um, Ulta Mauve Me lipstick. This is another one I can't wait to wear. It's a little bit lighter than the other ones, but I think it's a great fall shade. And then the last one that I like is another purple one. And I'm not surprised. It is the lip balm, the CoverGirl lip balm. Like I said, I love the lip. I have two of them. I want more of them. This is the Lavender Lava one. They're not sticky, at least to me. They last a decent while. And it's a darker purple, but it's got a lot of shimmer to it and gloss. That's a great, fun fall lip, you know? But that is everything that I love for the fall. And I showed you what pretty much everything I have on my face. And if you're wondering what I have, I don't know if you can really see it, my lower line with is the Rimmel Kate waterproof pencil, 24-7 waterproof, in 100 rose gold. It's this right here. Love it. Last all day. This has been on my eyes all freaking day and hasn't gone anywhere. I have my NARS Corella on and um, the LA Colors Nectarine, along with the uh, Lip Smackers Coca-Cola, dropping stuff, and on, uh, along with the Teal and the, um, what other color do I have on The Warm Berry Black Radiance on my eyes. I have the um, Hard Candy Raining Men palette. I have a little bit of that color with, on the lower lash line too, and these two dark colors in my crease here. And I also highlighted my inner corner with this color right here. This is a pretty decent palette. And, of course, my Mary Luminizer as my highlighter, because I just put that in my uh, project pan. And I have my e.l.f. Warm Tan Bronzer on. This is actually my second one of this. I actually used all of one of these up. But isn't that very, it has a little bit of sheen to it. I love it. It works great, even on my pale skin light hand, guys. Um, I also have the what mod I put in the middle mixed with the warm berry bodyography uh, veil metal, uh, foundation primer veil foundation primer that Janae sent me is my primer and of course um, I have my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and concealer on and the foundation I have NYX liquid illuminator 
in Gleam mixed with the foundation. I told y'all I love doing that. And of course my Magical Combo, my Smashbox X-Rated, and my Rumble Volume Colorist. Love it. And of course I got on my CoverGirl powder, and my eyebrows are my off-brow duo. And I forgot I had this and how much I loved it. I saw I was I ran out of the liquid liner I was using, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have my Nick and my NYC one. A lot of people love this. Like, Crispy is the one that got me onto it. She loves this thing. So many people love this. Some people don't, but a lot of people do. And only for, it's only like for $2.99. Can't pass it up, guys. Love it. It's got the brush tip. It's so easy. I, can, I don't mess it. I, I wipe it off like five or seven times before I use it so I don't get it everywhere. Doop, doop, done. But that's everything that's on my face, and that's the fall tag. Um, I take any of y'all that haven't done it yet um let me see uh christine 314 have you done it uh lena 7623 um let's see makeup mama have you done it uh i'm trying to think of who hasn't done it who else hasn't done it that i watch and i want to do it i can't believe i'm sitting here drawing freaking blanks right now oh my god I, i'm pitiful man i uh, who else hasn't done it that I would love to see do it? Come on, Nita. Think, think, think. Think, think. Okay. I'll list it down below if there's anybody else I can think of um, that I would uh, definitely like to see do it. Um, Balkan Princess, you do it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Terry Lee, Nifty and Thrifty, you do it. But I'll list everybody down below. I want to thank you all for sticking with me through the whole video. And thank you, Dre CN, for creating this. You rock. And I will tag you, so if you ask everybody to do, I'll try to tag you. But you know I did it. But thank you for creating it. And um, if you have any questions, list them down below. Comments, list them down below or email me. And uh, if you like what you see, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Stick around for a while, guys. And I will definitely talk to y'all later.